who here told stories in your technical presentation? No one? <laughs> then you need to hear my story today. I'm going to tell my story about a story that helped me become an STO, a storytelling officer. <laughs> in 2014, I took up this role as a technical lead in one of the leading financial institutions. As part of my role, I was supposed to work with two experienced solution architects to design a solution. Now, these architects' experience is way greater than my age. And now I need to do something to make them take me seriously. I even stopped coloring my gray hair so that they can take me seriously. Guess what? It did not work. Now, I have this amazing <coughs> idea I'm sure is going to not only solve the business problem, but also increase the profits for the organization. And every day I used to go to the meeting and say, consider my idea, I know it's going to transform uh, the way the bank does work. The architect used to say, Chiva, did you get the data from the source system? That is your job. I did not give up. Day after day for six months, I used to come, come to the office and say, please, please consider my solution. It did not work. One day, I got a chance to meet my director. I presented the solution in front of my director. Immediately said, as because the project is getting delayed. We implemented the solution. It was a huge success, but I hardly got any recognition for that. One afternoon, I was sitting in the food court, thinking about what really happened. That's when my friend, Jay, told me, why don't you come join our Toastmaster open house? I wondered, what is this open house? Let me go and attend. So I was like one of you attending a Toastmaster's open house. And when I joined the open house, I felt it is something that connected to me so well. And I immediately became a member of Toastmasters. In 2017, again, I got a different role, this time as a technical lead at BMO. This time, my job was to design a solution for a large agile at scale project. So I need to come up with a solution that's not going to even solve the problem, but also tries to help grow the business. So this time, it was an agile project, so we had a sprint demo, and for a one hour demo, my scrum master allocated only 10 minutes for the development team to do their presentation. When I asked him, why only 10 minutes for the developers? Hey, you tech guys don't know how to speak. And anyway, whatever you say, we can't understand. So 10 minutes is enough for you. <laughs> and when I got to present, I thought, okay, let me throw away the presentation. So I did not use the presentation slides that I have. And I told a story. I compared the business problem to the problems I have doing Indian cooking in Canada. And I said the solution is an Indian cooking magic pot. And in just 10 minutes, everyone was so impressed about the solution and they accepted it immediately. And guess what happened? After a few weeks, I got released from the project because I got promoted to be an STO, a senior technology officer. And since then, I got to a habit of telling more and more stories, and, and that transformed my life. And today I'm telling all of you, since you are here in a Toastmasters open house, this is a time you can get started. Take the initiation and join our Toastmasters club. And once you start telling those stories, you can transform your ideas into solutions that can transform this world. Back to you.